All right, folks, we're jumping in here. We need to go live to Houston, and we'll bring you the conclusion of the Tampa Bay-Houston game. Um, Houston has really shot themselves in the foot today against the expansion team in 1976. This is opening week of 76. Uh, as you can see, what do we have, 99 yards of penalties or something like that? Uh, so let's take a look at here what's where we are right now. All righty. So, yeah, 99 penalty yards for Houston. That's been the killer for them. Tampa Bay has just tied the game. All righty. Each team had a field goal in the first half. Pastorini, who was almost yanked from this game for poor performance, threw a 68-yard pass to the back, Ronnie Green. Nobody caught him, and they took the lead, but... And only a few minutes later, Essex Johnson, a three-yard run, has tied it for Tampa Bay. And Tampa Bay, on that last drive, went for it on fourth and two and got the first down on a penalty. So penalties are killing the Oilers. So now let's pick things up here in the fourth quarter with four and a half minutes to play. Houston's just received a kick. They've moved the ball to the 41, and that's where we take it over. All righty. So we're going to go to Coleman on the ground. See if we can get something going here. The Tampa defense is going to be BD. The pitch to Coleman, a 45 is 22. BD and 22 BD is going to be good for absolutely nothing. Coleman has not had a good day on the ground for the Oilers. Coleman right now, 16 carries for 28 yards. The Tampa defense has him bottled up pretty well today. So it's a second and 10. We're going to go short pass to Kenny Burrow. All righty, Pastorini going up against um, BD, and that'll be AD. So Pastorini, AD, A54 is 36 AD on the short pass. And that will be, oh, no, this is going to be, oh, is that right? Is that intercepted? Holy cow. 54 is a 36, and that's intercepted. That's a, but there is a flag. There is a flag on the play. Let's check the interception. So we have the, the W59. The long pass, he checked down, he faked the pass, Burrow went deep, and we got a W59, a 26, and that's going to be uh, 5D6. So he's going to check down 5D6. So five yards down, the pass is deflected, and it's caught by the left outside linebacker. So one, two, three, four, five. Six. So Cal Peterson, and he will have a run back. And a 16 is 21 on the run back. So Cal Peterson intercepts the pass. And a 21 on the run back is three yards. Let's check the flag before we do anything. So Pastorini is intercepted by Williams, who returns it for three yards. This could set up Tampa Bay in terrific field position. The officials are discussing the penalty. It's a 52, and it's a 15, and ineligible receiver downfield. The penalty is declined, and Tampa has the ball. So the pass from Pastorini to Burrow was deflected, and it was intercepted. And we said it was intercepted. By one, two, three, four, five, six by Cal Peterson. And Tampa has the ball and the boos are raining down. He returned that what? Two, I said. I think he returned that two yards. So Buccaneer ball, three forty five to play on the forty four yard line of the Oilers. They still need a ways to go to get in field goal range. But Tampa now has the ball, and they control their own destiny here. We are tied 10-10. to Houston cannot believe they're having trouble against this Tampa Bay team. We're going to keep it on the ground. Again, we've had 39 running plays and 19 passing plays, so it's a ground team, that's for sure. We're going to go outside. 
Uh, defense is CD. They're looking for the pass. Carter, 64-19, CD, and he'll get five yards. So Carter will pick up five. This Houston defense is getting worn out here. And let's see here, second and five. We're going to go Johnson. We're going to send him up the middle. We're going to try to grind it out on the ground. A 51 is going BG. They're waiting for the run. And a 54, 35 BG. And then we're going to have a craziness here. He gets nothing and a flag. So let's check the flag. Boy, Houston has been penalized a lot today. They're not in field goal range. If they get backed up, they might be. And a 55 on the E. 30, and that's going to be face mask on the defense. 15 yards, and the Buccaneers are almost in field goal range. Holy cow, another face mask here. And Tampa now with the ball on the 24-yard line. Three minutes to play. Houston might be thinking about using some of their timeouts. All right, so now what I'm going to do I'm going to bring in my play chart here. All righty. And um, if that comes into play, I'll, I'll use that if I need to. So here we go. 10-10, the Buccaneers trying to upset them. We're going to go Carter to the outside. And a 45 is CS. The handoff to Carter. It's a 22. That's a 16. CS. And he will pick up 12 yards, and that's a first down. Carter picks up 12 yards. And there's two and a half to play, and the ball is at the 12-yard line. All right, Houston's going to start thinking about using some of their timeouts. So now we need to go to the different chart, which I always forget to do. And we're going to go Johnson up the middle. First and 10, a 45 is CS. Johnson, a 32, that's 26. CS, and he will get two yards on the play, and Houston will call a timeout. So Johnson picks up two yards, and that'll be good for seven, uh, six seconds. We'll call it six seconds. 2.24 to play, and Houston calls a timeout, trying to save some time for themselves. Second and eight on the 10. We're going to we're gonna go back to Johnson again, up the middle. No chances here for the Buccaneers. All righty, a 13 on the defense. CS, Johnson, takes the handoff. 29, CS, and he's going to lose a yard on the play. So Johnson's going to go backwards a yard. Houston, again, will we'll let it get down to the two-minute warning, and we won't use up a timeout. All right, the two-minute warning in Houston. The Buccaneers and the Oilers tied at 10. Spurrier, 9 for 19 for 147 yards. Not very impressive. Pastorini, 17 to 24 for 280. But the difference is the 114 penalty, penalty yards for the Oilers. All right, so here we go. It's third and nine on the 11. We're going to go Carter. We're just going to keep it inside. We're going to keep it safe. Here we go. Third and nine, a 25. We're not going to assume deep right now, okay, even though I usually do, but we're not going to assume deep. Um, 25 is BG. So Carter inside, 44. 44, that's a 16. BG, and he'll pick up six yards to the three. Carter goes six yards to the three. And now we got a timeout called... With 152 to play by Houston. Holy cow. And yes, yes, these these <laughs> this game is awesome, guys. I'm telling you, it's expensive and the companies might have some issues, you know, with customer service, but this game is, is one of the best games I've ever played. As I get a tear to my eye, as Tampa Bay's ready to kick a field goal. In comes Miro Roder. All righty. Miro Roder. Now, what I need to do, um, because I screwed up the setup of this game, is if he kicks the field goal, I need to back it up. I need to fix something here, and I'll show you that in a minute. All righty. So Miro Roder comes in for the Buccaneers. From the five, this would be a 22-yard field goal attempt to put the Buccaneers in the lead. Here we go. 
20. So I'm kicking from the first column over here. Reading from the first column. Here is Rotor now. A 26 in the K column is a 27. And the kick, it's no good. He missed it. He misses the kick. Oh, my gosh. Are you kidding me? A 26 is a 27, and he misses the kick, I think. Yep, he missed it. And the field goal attempt is no good by Roeder. Oh, my gosh. And Houston gets the ball back. Yeah, we didn't need to freeze the kicker. They did that all on their own. And Roeder misses the game-winning kick or potential game-winning kick. And we play on in Houston. So it's going to be first and 10 on the 20-yard line. Houston with the ball. Wow. That was nuts. So we're going to go um, with 147. We're going to try a short pass to Burrow. Yeah, no way. That's what I said. So we're going to go short pass to Burrow. Buccaneer defense is coming AG. So they're looking for the run. Pass to Rainey, a 15, and that's going to be 8 AG. And that will be good for 16 yards. So the pass from Pastorini to Burrow is good for 16 yards. Now, though, i got to check my timing chart. So we're going to be in the hurry-up offense here. And 16 yards says, um, no, that wouldn't be 8 seconds. No, 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 you're right. Um, um, 16, 20 seconds. Okay. I love that chart there. 20 seconds off the clock. They're going to save their timeout. First and 10 on the 36. We're going to go um, short pass to Coleman. That's where we got our we got our um, touchdown was a short pass to Coleman. All right. Buccaneers line up their defense. They're going to play AD on the short pass. Pastorini, a 35. Uh, just a minute ago, he was picked off, and that's what set up that Buccaneer drive on the missed field goal. Uh, we have a 9 and a 9-22. is a 9 AD, I think, right? Yep, so the 22 is... AD and the 35 is a 9 AD on the short pass and that'll be six yards to Coleman and he gets out of bounds so Pastorini thumps this off to Coleman he'll pick up six and he'll make that complete and he'll get out of bounds and a six yard half play is seven seconds all righty so a minute 20 to go it's second and four from the 42 I think we're going to fool everybody and we're going to go outside to Coleman. He's had a bad day, but he's due. All righty, Coleman on the day. It's 15 carries for 28 yards. He's due to bust one here on second and four. Buccaneers uh, are playing AG. They're expecting the run. AG, 64, 18, AG. And he'll get four yards and go out of bounds. Let's see if he picked up the first down because that's how I roll. And, yes, they will get the first down. So Coleman will carry for four. He'll get out of bounds. And on my timing chart here, um, it's going to be six seconds. All right, so four yards, that, that play took six seconds. All right, so first and ten on the 46 now. We're going to go medium pass to Burrow. That's what we're going to do, medium pass to Burrow. Was my medium pass from the 46. Here we are. All right. Tampa defense. Are they in the Tampa 2? Are they in the Tampa 2 step? Uh, 13. BS. We're going to make that AS. Medium pass, we said. Medium pass. AS. Pastorini. 54. Oh, no. 36. AS. And that is. Oh, he checks off. He dumps it off for four yards and a flag. So he dumps it off to Coleman for four yards, and let's check the flag. This could be a huge flag here on the H column, a 65-21 pass interference offense. Oh, he pushed off on the play, and we're going to back him up 10 yards. Oh, my gosh. So the penalty, 10 yards to the Oilers. On pass interference, offensive pass interference. And that's going to back them up. 
And we'll just call that a 10-second penalty. And so the four-yard gain is wiped out, and they're backed up to the 36. We got a minute and four to play. Now it's first and 20. We're going to go medium pass to Johnson. Medium pass to Johnson. Yeah, I wasn't going to come on, but this was such a fantastic finish. I thought some people might want to see it. And Tampa was going to kick the field goal. They missed the field goal, so now, now we're still playing. All righty. And let's continue on here. Boy, I'm excited playing this game here. Uh, so we're going to have medium pass to Johnson now. So pass to Rainey, first and 20. Tampa, uh, 42. So they're going to be playing. They're going to be playing deep, CD. And that's going to be a B, BD. So BD, pass to Rainey, BD. Oh, no! Oh, no! Pass to Rainey, a two, BD. And... He is gone. No one's going to catch him. And Pastorini to Billy White Shoes Johnson for six, was that 64 yards? And another long pass play. And it's a touchdown, 64 yards to Johnson. And Houston is leading 16 to 10. And it just breaks the hearts of the Buccaneer faithful here as they thought they were going to pick off a win here in week one. Uh, missed field goal, and then another long touchdown pass by Pastorini, this time to Johnston, uh, Johnson. Wow. So Pastorini, they, Houston's not had a good day, but they've had two passes when I roll the 66, and one of them, if I go to my game reports here, one of them was... 68 yards, and this one is now 64 yards. And that's kind of how it goes. So 16 to 10 now for the Oilers. Butler's extra point is a 5, and a 5 is good. So the extra point is up, and the extra point is good. So the Oilers have come back now, and they lead 17 to 10. Yep. And so Pastorini in the fourth quarter, 68 yards to Coleman, 64 yards to Johnson. And, boy, that has just made up for such a bad game by the Oilers. So Butler will kick off here to the Buccaneers. And a 25 is on the kickoff is a 9. So we have a 9 on the kickoff. And that will be to the goal line to 0-9. So the kickoff and... Dave Reese, huh? Even if I roll the 66, you know, he could return at 35 yards. If I roll a 44, 35 yards, anything else, um, he, well, we're, we're going to return it. So it's gonna be, he's going to kick it to the goal line. How about that? All right, so Butler kicks it to the goal line, and he will re, he'll, he's going to bring it out. All right, so Danny Reese says, I'm going to return this kick. And I'm going to make something happen here. And a 51 is a 9. And that's 28 yards. All right, that's not too bad. All righty. So Danny Reese on the kickoff return here. Um, and what did we say it was? 28 yards. All righty. So here we are now. Oop, 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 28 yards. And we're going to call that a 10-second play. So 44 seconds to play in Houston. Yeah, the 80-plus drive was it there. Yeah, it was. And Houston with 124 penalty yards in this game. Nearly blew this game, but another long pass by Pastorini. He got through that buck defense, who's been playing defense, uh, playing very well defense today. First and 10 on the 28. We don't have much of a choice, so we're going to go uh, medium pass to Owens. All righty, what kind of defense are they going to be playing? Tampa Bay has all their timeouts. Oh, 33. They're ready for it. CD, so it's going to be a BD. All right, medium pass to Owens. Spurrier, does he have any magic beans in here? On the BD, a 51 is a 9. And, yeah, he'll get 7 yards. Does he get out of bounds? Yes, he does. All righty. So Spurrier finds Owens quickly for seven yards, and he gets out of bounds, and seven yards 
um, is seven seconds on that play. All righty, so 37 seconds to play. Ball on the 35. We're going to go medium pass to John McKay. All righty. Uh, 63 on the defense. It's going to be CD. So it's going to be CD. They're pl they're waiting for it. A 53 by Spurrier. 16 CD. I don't think that's going to be good. That'll be incomplete. So it's going to be incomplete to McKay. And we're going to say that was six seconds. All right, third and three now. We're going to go to Carter on the ground. We need the first down. So we're going to go Carter on the ground. We're going to have them playing whatever this role is, a 46. Uh, they're playing BS. All right, we're going on the ground outside to Carter. we got to get the first down here. And a 42-19. And we said that was CS, right? BS. 46, 19 BS. And he will get five yards and get out of bounds. So he'll get the first down. And that play takes six seconds. So we have 25 seconds to play. They've got a fresh set of downs. Spurrier and the Bucks trying to get a miracle comeback here. We're going to look now for McGriff. All righty. We're going to go McGriff on a medium pass. A 36 is BS. They're playing standard D right now. Even though they probably should be backing off in the prevent, we're not. We're going to play BS. All right, Spurrier, a 16 is a 20 BS, and that will be incomplete. So Spurrier cannot find McGriff, and that will be incomplete. And six more seconds off the clock, second and ten. We need to open it. We need to go long. We need to go long here, and we're going to look for Owens. We're going to chuck and pray right now. Second and 10, 32. We're going to call it CS. We're going to call it BS. All right, BS. Spurrier, back to pass. Looking for Owens. 21, 18. BS, and that sale's incomplete as well. So Spurrier looking for Owens. That was incomplete, and we're going to say seven seconds off the clock on that one. Third and 10. We're going back medium pass, and then we'll set up the bomb. So we're going to go medium pass to, um, let me see. We're going to look for Bob Moore, our tight end. I know we need the 66 here. All right, so they're going to be playing deep. Uh, 43 is going to be CD. It's going to be a BD. BD, Spurrier, 35, 13, BD. And that's incomplete. All right, so I said 35 is a 13 incomplete, and this is it. This is going to be it. So the pass to Moore is incomplete. Seven seconds off the clock, and here it is, the last chance. You've got to go long. Everybody knows it's coming. Everyone knows it's going to Owens. Here we go. Do the Buccaneers have any magic? Is there any magic at all in here? They missed an easy field goal, then gave up a long pass, and this is their last gasp here. Uh, 62 is BD. We're going to make it AD. Spurrier with the chuck and pray. No, 43. That's a 30 AD on the long pass. And he is actually wrapped up and sacked. And that will do it. So Spurrier is wrapped up and sacked. That will end the game. Let's see who's going to get the sack for the Oilers to finish things up here. Um, and we're going to give that to Curly Culp again. I think that's his third of the game. So Curly Culp comes in and sacks that quarterback, and that will end the game. So the final score here in Houston, and the Oilers will hang on for the 17-10 to win. Yep, and the Buccaneers had a chance to go ahead on the field goal. They missed the chip shot field goal, and here we are. Fun time. Again, Apple football, fun, fun time here. So, anyway, I just wanted to check in and play those last few minutes. That was that was fun. That was crazy. You guys got to see it. You got to see the missed field goal. You didn't see the interception, though, that started it all. 
Pastorini was intercepted, and the Buccaneers, they drove 20 yards, and they just playing the field goal the whole way, and they missed it. They missed it. That's awesome because <laughs> that's what happened to them all the time. Anyway, all right, I just wanted to jump on real quick with that and get the fantastic finish in here. And so uh, I'm, I'm sure I'll be talking to you guys later on this weekend. But thanks for tuning in, and, and I'm Dave from Studio B. Yeah, a little little quick finish here. And every now and then I might jump in real quick and do that when 